Hi everyone, welcome back to the Study Planet. And today I'm going to explain and demonstrate day one of the Google Friday AI Agent Intensive Program. And I prefer learning through hands-on and practice rather than just theory. So in this video, we will walk through the entire practical implementation step by step. And don't skip, watch till the end. This video will really help you understand how to start your first AI agent project or task on Kaggle. First, open your Gmail and search for Google Events. You should find an email titled Day 1 Assessment 5-Day AI Agent Intensive Program. Inside the mail, you will see instructions for Unit 1, Introduction to Agents. There are three parts. Listen to the summary podcast episode and read the Introduction to Agent white paper and it's around 54 pages documentation and it is very informative. And complete the Kaggle code labs. After that, you will perform two tasks, Task 1A, Task 1B. In task 1A, build your first AI agent using Gemini AI and Agent Development Kit. It is called ADK. In task 1B, build your first multi-agent system using ADK. In this video, we will focus on only on task 1A since completing both tasks takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Now click on the build to start your first task. After clicking on the bill, it will redirect into your Kaggle account. You must be signing. After signing into your Kaggle account, you have to select on your profile to verify your phone number. First step is must to complete. You have to verify your phone number. After selecting on your profile, you have to select settings. In, set, in settings, scroll to the phone verification. Click begin verification and enter your phone number and submit the OTP you receive. Once verified, it shows phone number verified. After this, go back to your main Kaggle page. Now you are ready to start the task. And here a day one task from prompt to action. This is your first hands-on notebook in the Kaggle AI agent course. Here you will learn to install the agent development kit ADK, configure your Gemini API key. And build your first AI agent and run it and watch it use Google search to find answers. And first you have to install ADK. But I will show you how to creating your Google API key. To configure your Gemini API key, you must create a Google API key first. So before installing the ADK, we need, we need an API key to connect to Gemini AI. So here's how to create it. Now let's create our Gemini API key, which we will use later in the Kaggle code lab. And scroll down your Kaggle page and you will find the uh, Gemini API Google Studio. So click on that. After clicking it, it will redirect you to the Gemini API page where we will generate our new key. On the top right corner, you will find a button labeled Create API Key. Click on the Create API Key. A small wizard will open to help you create your key and now follow these steps carefully name your key i am naming it google api key written it in all capital letters because that's exactly how it's used in the kaggle code labs and next choose an imported project you must select a project that already exists in your google cloud account i am selecting my first project and clicking on import. After importing this my first project, it will be appear in the drop down list. You have to select my first project again and click on the create key. Now your API key is generated successfully. Copy the generated key carefully. This will be used in the Kaggle notebook later. And make sure you don't close this tab. Keep it open in case you need to refer to it again. And now go back to your Kaggle for lab page to continue setting up your environment. And now open the Kaggle code lab. Click edit my copy to open an editable version of the, your notebook. It is on top right corner. Edit my copy or copy and edit. I already done my task. So it is showing like edit my copy. So click on this, it will redirect to your code lab and wait 30 to 40 seconds until the page fully loads and restores all code cells. And uh, the fifth step is adding your secret key. We will now click on the add-ons menu, choose secrets and click add secret and set label is equal to Google API key and paste your copied API key as the value and click save. Once done, you will see it check mark showing your secret key is stored before the 
Google API key. So here the code snippet is produced by secret key. So we have to copy this code and uh, wait for the installation of ADK. So we have to first uh, install the ADK. We have to select plus symbol to add the code. I'm adding, I already added my code pip install Google ADK. So after adding this code, I'm running this cell. After running this cell, all the code, uh, all the required packages are now installed successfully to complete task 1A. Now the next important step is to restart the kernel so that all the new packages load properly. Here's how to start do it. Here's how to restart it. Go to the top right corner of your Kaggle notebook. Click on the three dots menu, select restart and run all cells. This option will restart the environment and automatically run every cell in your notebook from the beginning. And before that, remember, uh, you restart and run all cells. Make sure you have already pasted your secret key code. Before you restart and run all cells, make sure you have already pasted your secret key code below the pip install Google ADK cell. I have already pasted mine here as you can see right below the installation command. If you skip this step or paste it in the wrong place, your notebook will show connection errors later. So below the pip install Google ADK, paste secret key code which is produced on secrets and now restart and run all cells. Click on the restart and run all cells. These are the three steps pip install google adk first you have to run this cell after running this cell you have to paste your secret key code and now restart and run all cells once that's done your notebook will restart running each cell automatically and your ai agent setup will begin executing successfully and would now you can see every cell running one by one in the Kaggle notebook. Sometimes you might get an error at a particular step. Don't worry. This usually happens if the server is busy. Many people are using Kaggle at once or a few cells didn't run properly during the first execution. When that happens, try this. Click the run button again on the cell. If it is doesn't work, refresh your browser, then select restart and run all cells once again. You can see on the screen, I got error. After doing this a few times, everything should run smoothly. I also faced the same issue. I kept clicking run on the error cell, then refresh it, restarted and run all cells again. Finally, the code executed successfully and I got the correct output. And if you still see errors, sometimes after a kernel restart, you may notice that cells below the error didn't run automatically. In that case, scroll down and manually click run on each cell after the error. One important cell you must check is that ADK web UI is not running yet. When you're seeing this message, click the link open ADK web UI that opens a pack a chartboard style page. This is your agent interface. Type a question there and your agent will respond using Gemini. If you have already run it before, you may get 500 internal error. That's okay. It just means the agent session is already active. And check the final output. After you open the ADK web UI, the next cell will generate an output that looks like this. ADK web server started for local testing access at HTTP 127.0.00x. This means your local agent web server is running successfully. There is no submit button for this task. Once you complete it correctly, you will receive an email from Kaggle within a few minutes saying you have earned a new badge. That badge confirms you your task one year from prompt to action is successfully completed. If you don't get the badge email, your task wasn't fully completed. So rerun your notebook to fix it. And that's all for day one task one year. I know this first task uh, can be a little confusing, especially the kernel restarts and ADK setup. But don't worry if you face any doubts or errors, comment below and I will personally reply to help you solve them. I didn't explain much of the theory in this video because the white paper is around 54 pages and I didn't want to make it boring. If you want a quick 7 to 10 minutes theory explanation video on what AI agents are and how they work, please comment below. I will upload that 
for you tomorrow and thank the next part task 1b building a multi agent system will be uploaded within 1 hour after this video i know today's video was a bit lengthy because task 1a includes setup steps like verifying kaggle creating the api key installing erk and fixing errors but task 1b will be short and simple around 4 to 5 minutes focusing on only the task and explanation part if you found this video helpful please like share your feedback in the comments it really helps me improve and make the next videos even clearly for you our study planet family is growing fast we have already uh, close to 1000 subscribers every single like comment subscription means a lot to me and keeps me motivated to create more helpful content for all of you and thank you so much for watching and i will see you soon with the task 1 be building a multi agent system thank you for watching